Hello, God's people. I am back with another word from the Lord. This word is based off of a dream and a movie. <laughs> so in the dream, God showed me the movie. And I had seen this movie some years back. I don't know how long it's been. Like I said, I've never been like a fan of Christmas movies. I've watched them throughout the years, but not the way God had been calling me to watch them lately. So this movie was a movie that I saw some years back and God showed me the movie in my dream. And I'm like, God, why are you showing me this movie in my dream? And he was like, I want you to watch it. Well, I didn't know the name of the movie. <laughs> and so I'm trying to remember bits and pieces of the movie and search it in Google to see if it will come up. Nothing absolutely nothing and I was just laying there and I was like God how am I supposed to watch a movie that I don't know the name of I just know bits and pieces of the movie and God gave me a name and I said is that person in that movie because y'all in my in my family can tell you I don't know people's names I can love a song I couldn't tell you who sing it to save my life I just don't you know, know that many people's names, but I looked up the name and it was Billy Ray Cyrus. And lo and behold, he was in the movie. So I was able to watch the movie. And in this movie, there's actually two separate movies. Uh, but the one that the Lord had me to focus on was the second one. And in the second one, um, it shows the beauty of what it's like to, to help people and how in helping people, God actually changes you. And so in this movie, he had gone to California. He had left Texas, gone to California because his son had had an accident when he was little. And so these doctors were supposed to work with him as an experiment. Anyway, he meets this female doctor. He falls for her. Okay, so he invites her back to home to Christmas and things just wasn't quite right. The daughter was kind of apprehensive because she had lost her mother, didn't really want to see another woman moving in. Things just wasn't right for them to be together at that time. And so the lady ended up going back to California, back to work, and he was broken. He was really, really broken. It's like when she left, all of his joy left, but he didn't know how to bridge the gap. He didn't know how to bring in somebody new when he's still in love with his wife that passed away and lost that he's experienced. And then his children, even though most of his children were adults, he just didn't know. And he was really, really broken. And he reached out to her once and it really didn't, you know, he was still in his brokenness. And she gave him some advice. And basically to get lost in basically what in helping others basically when God calls us to service you will surely find God when you take your mind off of what's bothering you and pour yourself into what God is calling you to do in that moment because in that God will bring revelation and that's what happened with him and he got to the point where you know financially he was better he was helping this man with his store getting people to come to the store. People had stopped coming, but all in all, he made this man's life better as well as his own financially. Him and this man end up being partners. They had had a good crop listening to his son. God was just able to open him up in his brokenness, in his season of weight, but still he longed for her. So finally he called her, he left her a message and lo and behold, God brought her back. And this is what God told me to tell you in, in, in waiting on him. He said, give him time. Don't try to take matters in your own hands. That is how you prematurely sabotage the promise and eventually abort the mission. And you abort the mission because you get so frustrated. And so while this man was frustrated, he did, he had a big heart anyway. If you walk... Go back and watch the movies. I believe the first one is called Christmas in Canaan, C-A-N-A-A-N. -A -A -N. And then the other one is, 
like Christmas back in Canaan or something like that. Um, but he was always, he always had a big heart. Okay. And so there's a lot of messages in this move in these movies, but this is what the Lord is saying. See, because when they first met, things just wasn't quite right. Okay. He wasn't right. And in some areas she wasn't right. But when God brought them back together, when he left that message, she could tell the difference and she showed up for Christmas. And when she showed up, she came back prepared for them to be together. She came back prepared for them to live as one. She came back with a job, all a job offer in that small town or near that small town um, that was looking for somebody just so they could be together and build on that. She didn't try to intervene in his process of healing and he didn't either. And that is what God is calling us to do for those of us that have been waiting on someone or, you know, God wants you to be patient, give him time to work. Okay. And this is a different situation because this guy had to heal from loss. Okay. He had to heal in ways that nobody could fix except God. He had to heal in ways um, that so that he could be able to see this woman the way God needed him to see. But he knew in his heart, like this is who he was supposed to be with. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't have been so broken when she left. So understand God is saying, be patient. Move the way I say move. Move how I say move. And you'll see that I'm healing you. I'm healing the other person along the way so that when you come back together, things will be orchestrated and ordained by God. Okay. And like I said, I have another word of people being separated, <laughs> but it's in a different way. Okay. So it's a different, believe it or not, it's a different type of separation and coming back together. I'm like, who, like I said, God doesn't normally give me these type of messages, but y'all, when I say they're a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> so this is for the people that your heart is just not quite ready to accept. Maybe yours is and his isn't, or his is and yours isn't. And God is saying, give him time to take them through the necessary steps so their heart can heal so that when they do come back to you, you're completely ready and completely open to love. I love you guys and I will be back with another word. <laughs>